Y'all, so the card that would not go back into the deck. Um, so this card would not go into the deck, you guys. Okay. I tried to put it back. I had to try to reshuffle it. But this card wouldn't go back into the deck. And this card is, I didn't think that you would find out. So this Divine Masculine thought that you wouldn't find out about this karmic being pregnant. He thought that he could keep it under wraps and keep it from you. Okay? And then it says here, I look over and it says, I purposely didn't have you meet my family and friends. So this person has mutual friends, of course, with the karmic. And they didn't want the two the two situations to collide because there's so many secrets that the divine masculine has with this karmic. And one of those secrets is that she is carrying, she's pregnant. Okay? So this karmic is pregnant. So I want to know how this divine masculine feels about this karmic being pregnant. Okay? I think that's what the collective want to know. So how does this divine masculine feel about the karmic being pregnant? How does this divine masculine feel about the karmic being pregnant? How does this divine masculine feel about the karmic being pregnant? The divine masculine feels like she be sneaking off with other people so he don't know if it's his or not. She be doing her own thing late at night. People call on her phone so he don't know if that is his baby or not. So he's in doubt. Okay, this also fell. It says, and there's a message in reverse. This is a page of swords in reverse. So message in reverse. So he probably hasn't told this divine. Ooh. So he hasn't told this divine feminine. That he don't believe it's his baby. So he he hasn't told the divine feminine that. He hasn't expressed that to anybody. That's why this is in reverse. Because he hasn't told anybody that he doubts that that baby is even his. Because the karmic and his family and everybody are celebrating like it's his baby. And he hasn't told them yet. Oh, look how that fell down. And in, in, in a perfect eye right there, y'all. So not only is somebody falling from grace, which I have in that. Y'all have another video talking about how the divine masculine fell from grace from dealing with this karmic. And because him even, he hadn't had a baby with her, but for them even playing house with a karmic and trying to, you know, deal with a karmic and their divine being. Okay, so there's definitely a fall from grace. So y'all watch that fall from grace movies. It goes into detail about the fall from grace because this just failed, literally. This failed and then one perfect eye popped out at y'all. Okay. So what I get from there that um, there's been magic involved. There's been magic involved in this situation. I hope she didn't get pregnant off of magic. I hope she didn't try to do magic to get this to, to get um this divine uh, masculine and them having that baby. My chest is beating fast. So there is definitely some, something involved in having that baby. Yeah, definitely something was involved in having that baby. Um, let's see. How does the divine masculine feel towards this new baby? Well, he don't think it's his. So how does the divine masculine treat this karmic then who's pregnant? So how does divine masculine treat this pregnant karmic? How does the divine masculine treat this pregnant karmic? How does the divine masculine treat this pregnant karmic? How does the divine masculine treat this pregnant karmic? 
How does the Divine Masculine treat this pregnant karmic? How does Divine Masculine treat this pregnant karmic? So y'all get the energy. <laughs> the reason why I know Karas is coming out is because I get the energy, and that's why I kept shuffling again and again, is he don't treat her. Matter of fact, I think that he ignores her sometimes. He don't have much to say. The high priestess. He don't have much to say because his intuition is saying that that baby is not his. So he's not emotionally involved. He is not... He's not involved like y'all think. He might be in still in a relationship with this karmic, but it's not what you guys are thinking. Let me pull some um, cards from here. Okay, it's not what you guys are thinking at all. So let's pull out what does the divine masculine have to say to this karmic about this pregnancy? What does the divine masculine have to say to this karmic about this pregnancy? Y'all, we're going to go ahead and take all of that that dropped. Messages through music. Okay, so if you feel like you're getting messages through music, you are. I get binding spells. Keep going, light worker. So this person probably, he, so this person got trapped in this, this pregnancy with this karmic, but he was trying to trap you, divine feminine. So while this, this divine master was busy trying to trap you, he got trapped with the karmic, with the child's mother, father. So yeah, she tried to, to trap him. Research meat. So somebody has been eating healthy. So she's probably not eating healthy. And he notices that too. He, you're a natural healer. So you are a natural healer, Divine Feminine. It says, I won't fuck up again. So this Divine Master says, this baby isn't his, Divine Feminine. And that he's not going to fuck up again. He said he's been doing a lot of self-reflecting. But you're my twin. So he's been reflecting at the fact that you're his twin. You're his divine counterpart. He's been doing a lot of reflecting about this after somebody found out they was pregnant. Like he couldn't figure that out before. But he's just now realizing that you are actually his twin. And that maybe Divine Feminine, you are in stagnation thinking about the situation. And you should be more productive with your time, Divine Feminine. Trust your instincts in this situation, okay? Don't ignore the red flags. Trust your instincts. You ignored the red flags before. And then this Divine Masculine is saying, Divine Feminine, what else do you want me to know? Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. No, uh-uh. Skirt, skirt. This divine masculine is telling this karmic who pretends to be a divine feminine. So this karmic defend, defends. She pretends to be a divine feminine and defends being a divine feminine and, def, and, and defends her behavior. Okay? This particular karmic acts like a divine feminine and pretends her divine feminine behavior. She, she pretends that she's a divine feminine. And he's asking this divine feminine, what else do you want to know? Oh, y'all, I'm getting so many different things on this one. So I'm just going to say everything I'm getting. He wants to ask Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine, what else do you want to know regarding this situation about him and about that child? Because it ain't his. So any questions you have regarding that baby, he's willing to tell you 9, 11 on the clock from your angels. Your angels are giving you, that's not a warning because your angel wouldn't warn you of anything. So 9, 11 is not what people think. Uh, but it's definitely a message from your angels. And they... He wants to know, Divine Feminine, what else do you want to know about his situation and circumstance regarding that karmic and that baby? But the karmic is telling the Divine Masculine, what else do you need to know? This is your baby. What else do you need to know? How other way can I convince you? Okay, so that's what's going on in this situation. I've been doing my karmic and shit. So this Divine Masculine knew how his karmic was before they had the baby. Before the baby was involved, he knew that she was going out, doing her thing, having an open relationship, having a situationship, but they were still together, but still walked around as a couple, but still did their thing on the side. 
He knew that she was messing around with other men. She was messing around with other women. She was messing around with other people. She was doing her own thing, getting money to do her own thing. He knew that that's who the type of person she was. And he was okay with that low vibing behavior because he was still in that same low vibing energy. Your self, your higher self. So your higher self wants you to use your instinct and wants you to pay attention to the red flags and the signs because somebody wants revenge. Somebody is trying to seek revenge and your higher self wants you to know that because he chose somebody else. So this karmic. So you let go of the fact, Divine Feminine, that he let go of somebody, he let go of somebody else. So Divine Feminine, you, you, uh-oh, tongue tied here. What's going on? So he chose somebody else. She chose somebody else. Then you chose somebody else, Divine Feminine. Everybody chose different people after this search situation. After this, everybody chose somebody else. And then I flip this card over. It says twin flame spiritual growth only. So, yes, this was a twin flame journey, but it was only meant for your spiritual growth because everybody 